to Suffolk County. In fact, I know he did. Hey, man, pal. Uh, I was working with Senator Tim Worth. He's a who I really believed in. You, you believe in all these bastards because you think, oh, they're our public servant. They're our representative. He was a former congressman in Colorado. And uh, ooh, there we go. 507. They probably were listening to me. <laughs> the, 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 front of us. Now he's coming back out this way. And now he's following us. 508. Five oh nine. You know what? It was all true. I found these guys through the Better Business Bureau at BBB.org. Hey, guys, Mr. Scott. Five ten. Yeah, 512 just ran by with his lights on. Yeah, I don't think they like uh, my John Stewart interview too well. <laughs> oh, here comes another one. Every last heart is part of 536, just did a U-turn right in front of me. Every last tear is Just whipped a Yui. We're not going to educate them, we're just going to film them. Air raid sirens. We're being invaded by the NSA. Oh, shucks. Coming right into the uh, laundromat here. Six seventeen. This is really nice. This is our police state, folks. We're asking these guys over here. They weren't bothering anybody. Obviously, their surveillance satellites probably spotted. It's just an excuse to come in here. Okay. Gonna film this. There they go. Six seventeen. Here he goes. Six seventeen. Suffolk Police. I filmed these bad. 
why are you sitting here? Uh, we're, 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 well, we're actually we, waiting for our clothes to dry. We, you know we live in a police state now. Yes, I know that. Okay. You, you need to let your congressman know. <laughs> Yeah, they rousted two uh, two people that were sitting there, probably sipping on a little a little juice, getting their laundry done. <laughs> Just an excuse to come in there. Any excuse they can get to bring cops near me, they bring them by. There goes a fire truck. Oh well, we have our mission. Expose him, and we will. Go up here. We'll see what this is. Looks like a fire. Yeah, it's a fire vehicle. Blue Point Fire Department. Surprise. <laughs> Neighborhood one. Oh, that's the guy. He's actually pretty cool. Major, uh, major. a public safety officer. Yeah, I just went for a walk with my dog down to the ocean. Place we like to go. It's kind of quiet, peaceful. Of course, we got met by uh, our local cop coming back. Public safety patrols this area. Yeah, the yeah they always park their cop cars right down the street from where I do my printing. There's a Suffolk County car parked down here. Just take a walk. Come on, bear. Parked right down here. There's always one round. 314. I'm getting my printing done. Please go easy on the spending. We have to pay for an oil delivery this week. Oh, we'll be okay. I called Affordable Fuels. Joan told me she switched over to Affordable Fuels last year and saved big time. Really? There's our Coke. Like around four to five hundred dollars with nope. affordable fuels. And the, cope. Plan. the plan provides automatic delivery. Now that I got all my political uh, bumper stickers on my car, <laughs> pretty sure they can uh, add, add one and one up. Probably still come out to three with these idiots, but uh, I'm sure they can start to figure something's up, these cops. <clears throat> they got to know they're being used for political purposes. Wow, that's pretty cool. I made John Stewart. <laughs> He's the only guy I'd want to be on. Some guy was interviewing me for a comedy show. I didn't tell me it was John Stewart. I didn't think it was too funny. Well, I guess I was on John Stewart. <laughs> Don't ask me how I got on there, but I'm on there. Well, as long as the message is getting out, that's all I care about. John Stewart, yay. Way to go, John. 